Your merciful love, O God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Our Mass for today, on Tuesday of the 14th week, is being celebrated for Joan Ryan on her second anniversary. So we pray for her and her family at this time, as they remember her. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, they have set up kings, but not with consent, and appointed princes, but without my knowledge. Out of their own silver and gold they have made idols, which are doomed to destruction. I spurn your calf, Samaria. My anger blazes against it. How long will it be before they purge themselves of this, the sons of Israel? A workman made to the thing, this cannot be God. Yes, the calf of Samaria shall go up in flames. They sow the wind, they will reap the whirlwind. Their wheat will yield no ear. The ear will yield no flower. Or if it does, foreigners will swallow it. Ephraim shall build an altar after altar. They have only served him on this occasion for sin. Were I to write out a thousand of precepts of my law for him, they would be paid no more attention than those of a stranger. They love sacrificing, right, let them sacrifice. They love meat, right, let them eat meat. The Lord takes no pleasure in these. He is now going to remember their iniquity and punish their sins. They will have to go back to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. Our God, he is the heavens, he does whatever he wills. The idols of the heathens are silver and gold, the work of human hands. The sons of Israel trust in the Lord. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. They have nostrils, but they cannot smell. Sons of Israel trust in the Lord. With their hands they cannot feel, with their feet they cannot walk. Their makers will come, become like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Sons of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my own sheep and my own know me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. A man was brought to Jesus, a dumb demoniac, and when the devil was cast out, the dumb man spoke, and the people were amazed. Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel, they said. But the Pharisee says, it is through the prince of devils that he casts out devils. Jesus made a tour through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing all kinds of diseases and sicknesses. And when he saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them, because they were harassed and dejected, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The 
harvest is rich, but the labourers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send labourers to his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus cures the demoniac and is accused of being the prince, acting on the prince of Beelzebub, the devil himself. We look for healing and God gives us healing. How we interpret that um, depends on where we are coming from and where God is in our lives. Jesus looked at the crowds and saw them with, like sheep without a shepherd. Pray to the Lord of the harvest that he may grant labourers to the harvest. We pray at this time for vocations to religious life and to the priesthood and to the ministries of caring for others who need our support and love. We do so by being those people that show God's love to others. And by our example, we give and demonstrate God's love in the world. And those who need care and who are sick, they also can demonstrate God's love in the way they respond to and support those who care them. And today, as we celebrate the anniversary of, of Joan Ryan, one of the things that she brought to her carers was a concern and an interest in who they were. And always asking them, how they were doing and always asking them to take it easy or they're doing too much or whatever. And in that way we care for each other. It's not just a one way. And in that way she brings love of God to the carer. Because very often those who are in the care sector is difficult work, it's not well paid and very often they don't get much thanks for what they do. But when they are with somebody whom they're caring for, who appreciates them, cares for them, and shows interest in who they are, that gives them love and it gives them strength. And in that way we pass on God's love and we give God's strength. And we encourage others to be labourers in the harvest. Because in doing so, we bring God into the world. We look after the sheep who need our care and support. So we give thanks for all those who are caring at this time, for all those who are caring for particularly suffering from coronavirus, our doctors, our nurses, our key staff, our key carers, who are giving of themselves and their support because the world needs it. And we pray that this is a moment where we come back to God and we focus on God and we're aware where God is in our lives, a God of love, a God of care, a God who wants to be with us and to share our needs and our concerns. So we pray at this time for all in our world and we pray for the labourers to be sent into the harvest. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the provine of you. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. <coughs> With humble spirit and contact hearts, may we be acceptable to you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but comfort us for salvation, through Christ our Lord. And so in the company of the choirs of angels we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Vincent our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Joan, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. Benedict, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit, we may merit to be heirs to the eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through our Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and with him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. With the 
the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter unto my room. But only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the one who seeks refuge in him. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise Him through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.